Right, so now we're going to be making our water kefir soft drink. But before we show you how to do that, I just want to explain uh, how to make up the kefir water, or otherwise known as the first ferment. It's not that different from kombucha tea. It's uh, a two-stage ferment, and the first ferment is uh, ready, and Karen is going to pour the contents through the strainer into our jug. Now you can see the actual water kefir crystals coming out into the strainer. You don't need to get all, but just lift up the strainer so people can see what water kefir actually looks like. So they're a bit nondescript, aren't they? And they certainly look different to the milk kefir. They are a different creature altogether. Yeah. So uh, if you can now just put those water kefir crystals back in the jar because we're going to, oh, we're going to soon make up a new batch. So uh, now we have our first stage of the ferment ready to then turn this into our water kefir soft drinks. There's a couple of bottles there and if you want to just open them up and use the funnel to pour in the first ferment of our kefir to halfway. Now I do reuse these bottles over and over again. Uh, apparently, I've been told, you can buy them from the home brew shop because they're actually for making your beer. Uh, any, any plastic drink bottle will do, but I would hesitate to advise glass because there's a lot of pressure that builds up and your glass bottle can explode, just like ginger beer is notorious for that. Very good. So now we've got a couple of different bottles of fruit juice that I've selected from the supermarket shelf. You want to just get them out, Karen? The first one, um, it's got a combination. It's written on the side of the uh, bottle there. Can you just read out what we've got for a blend? Just turn the bottle. Carrot, orange, yeah. apple, apricot, lemon and ginger. What an amazing mixture. Woo! Delicious. All right, give it a bit of a shake because I'm sure there's sediment in there. And who wants to have a proper clear soft drink? We don't mind a bit of sediment in there. Just shows it's homemade. Uh, just fill up the rest of one bottle with some room to spare because if you have a little bit of room to spare, you can actually feel when the tension has built up uh, due to the gases being created because the water kefir is actually full of yeast. That's why it's so bubbly, so effervescent. Just That's very so I've good. I've filled it to there. Yep, yep. So Ooh. then there's enough space for the Ooh. gas to build up. And uh, then we can uh, drink it when it's ready. All right, so the next juice blend that we've got here, what's in there? It's a lovely red color. We've got a, a blend of beetroot, orange, apple, cranberry and lemon. God, can you just imagine all that goodness while you're enjoying a fizzy soft drink? This is such a wonderful substitute for the uh, factory made shop, uh, the, the shop made soft drink because this is now full of goodness and it's actually got a much lower glycemic index because the original sugar and the fruit juice sugar has all been fermented down during the fermentation process. I've yeah, you didn't leave a lot of room, eh? Hey? Can you just a chip, chip a little bit out? Just yeah. a tiny bit. Yeah, because we do need that little bit of room there. So you can gauge by feeling when the gases have built up. And once you reach that stage, you can just pop the bottle in the fridge. About there. Now that's that looking good? better, yeah. And now the lids have to go on very tight. It's going to be really airtight. And leave them in a warm spot to ferment and that can be anything 24 hours 48 hours it just depends on the sugar content of the juice blend that you've got for example if you use coconut water you don't get much of a build-up of fizz because there's not really a lot of sugars in the coconut water okay yeah and the sugars that we put in originally for the first stage of the ferment well they've been fermented right down too 
All right, so it's very, very simple to make your own delicious probiotic soft drink. And uh, it's cheap. And of course, you can make your own juice with a juicer, with your own blends. And uh, yeah, you so can have as many of these as you like. But do be careful because it can become alcoholic if it's left out too long in a warm spot because then the sugars can go into alcohol. Oh, okay. All right, so okay. it's best to wait until the pressure has built up in the bottle and then pop them in the fridge where it'll be quite safe for anyone to drink. Okay, so I call this water kefir yes. crystals. Yeah, well, it's water kefir, but water we like kefir. crystals. Yeah, yeah, water kefir. And then I fill that up with... Right, so I've got some water ready to redo the first stage of our ferment. And this is what you do when you order your water kefir. Um, here in Australia, it's easy to get it through eBay. And we've got uh, at least four tablespoons of water kefir in a jar for one and a half to two litres. So just fill that up with water. Lovely. So now we're going to feed that water kefir. Yeah, a little bit of like a scoby-like slime on the top, like your kombucha tea. Yeah, 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 that happens. Yeah. Now um, we're going to have to feed that water kefir. So I've got some raw sugar handy here. How much? Just pour Half in. Half a cup. No, we do not raw. just pour in. Half, Half a cup. Half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Might get too much, eh? Yeah, too much will weigh the water kefir down and it will be harder for them to digest and ferment all those sugars. But half a cup for up to two litres of water. But the, uh, yep, and the water kefir doesn't need just sugar like kombucha tea. It actually needs the presence of minerals to keep feeding it and keeping it very biologically active. Okay. So all I do is just get some ordinary no-name brand raw sugar because you can get very carried away with all those fancy sugars that are a bit richer. But I've got some molasses up on the shelf there. If you can just open that jar and give it about a teaspoon of molasses. About a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah, just a tiny bit because it can become overwhelming in your soft drink if you have too much. That's lovely. That's okay. Yep. And just stir that into our kefir water here. And you will see the water going a bit darker brown. But you're now feeding that water kefir. And within 48 hours and nice warm weather we're having here, it's ready to make another batch again. So you can see that, that you can do a high turnover of your own homemade soft drink. You just need a lot of spare bottles to utilize them. So start collecting your plastic bottles. It's already got a lovely colour. Yeah, that's from the molasses. Thank you.